Okay. 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 Uh, I mean, sir, as, as one of the community leaders in Kolini, what's, what's, what's your reaction to this sentence? Look, we, we, we need to understand, as the judge was articulating his facts, these people are first offenders. Yeah. But we are happy that behind bars, they are going. That's the main, that's the main critical thing to us, that one. Yeah. But, I mean, does this sentence help in reconciliation in Kolini? Kolini, it needs someone, leadership actually, from government to really adopt Kolini and see what needs to be done. Look, I usually say it's not all, all, all whites in Kolini who are racist. It's a pocket, and you could see that this is a real pocket of, of these racist guys. But I need for reconciliation to be done. It needs to be done on both sides, black and white. I used to give an illustration that this country, it had to operate like a piano. It has got all, both the black and the white keys. You play them together, you get a melody. You play one, you won't get the tune. This is what this country needs. Uh, for Colini, it needs a leadership at the provincial and national level to go down there. And, and, and redevelop Colin because it really needs to be redeveloped. I have to ask you this question because we know that Afri Forum has already indicated that they would be appealing um, the sentence and the verdict that was given last year. I mean, what do you make of that as a community leader in Colin? Now, you know, Afri Forum, they can do whatever they want. This sentence will stay. Uh, we know we are aware of what they were doing to the, the main witness. We are aware. And the police are working hard on that one. And I think they, they are just about to have a conclusive a decision on that one. Let them go. This is how big this country is, how wonderful this country is with its democracies and the constitution. They've got their own legal right to do it. So you also believe that Pakisi did not fake his uh, testimony? He did not fake his, uh, his, his testimony. Pakisi was approached. And there is this uh, pseudo pastors, ne? these prophets who are mushrooming our country lately. Yeah. One is right in, in Mafiki, Paul Murule. We know he was working on the guy. We know. So we know, we know deep down in our hearts that the police have got the real things. What was happening all around behind closed doors. Coincidentally, he's working for Mr. Karsten. How does, how does U U U Papa feel about the possibility that this sentence would be... Um, would be challenged. Yeah. The, the, the old man. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> it, 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 it's 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 you know, I need to, we, we need also to be honest with the man. Ne? He's affected by the sentencing. We all were yearning for a life sentence. Ne? But we need to understand the law, they would consider all the facts around this case. So we need to agree on that one. As a father, a biological father, he will be affected. Ne? But uh, as I said, the, what the, the bottom line is, they will go behind prison. It will send a message. There is one message that I want to send, especially to white ladies out there. I want them to understand. They happen to have carried their kids for nine months. A black woman has done the same. A white woman's umbilical cord, when it was cut, a black woman's umbilical cord was cut, and they were bleeding. I'm told the most painful pain is the labor pain. They have all gone through it. So I want to challenge the white ladies there. Not only them, even blacks. Don't allow your husband, your boyfriend, your son, your uncle to indoctrinate their kids about racism. It's not going to work for this country. 
That's what I, I, I feel inside my heart, that everybody has got to know. So black and white women, they have felt the same pain. Uh, if you check history, if it talks of evolution, it, will, it says we are from one originality, uh, the cradle of humankind. It's one. If you look at the Christianity, it says the same. This is what my plea it is to this woman. Don't allow your husband and boyfriends and uncles to indoctrinate your kids negatively about, about other racial groups, okay, thank you, both sir. black and white. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Marcel, that was one of the community leaders here in, uh, in Colini. He, is, um, he arrived from Colini to be part of this uh, proceedings today. You can hear also, we've also heard from the father of Matlo Mulamushu, where he was actually saying that he's actually not satisfied with the sentence uh, because he was hoping that these men could be sent to jail for a lot longer than 23 years and um, 15 or 18 years. Marcel? Um, uh, Malu, before I let you go, uh, quite a bit spoken about, about Mr. Bonakele Pakisi. Obviously, he was the main witness in uh, this trial, and there was a lot of drama around his evidence. Um, after he had already given his evidence, there was talk of the fact that he was intimidated um, uh, uh, by uh, various uh, organizations or um, individuals, uh, as it were. What do we know about Mr. Pakisi's whereabouts at this time? Well, we're not sure where he is right now, but um, I remember during last year, during the mitigation and aggravation of sentence, I did see him here in court, but we, I mean, the community leaders had been urging us not to speak to him. In fact, that's where the appeal, um, the issue of the appeal from Afriforum comes from, because Afriforum are saying that his version of events was actually a lie. He was paid to, 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 to implicate these two men, but um, what what he told the court is that he was in fact also um, intimidated by these men, was also assaulted by these men when he actually witnessed that um, the, the, the killing of Matlomula Mushwewu in April on the 20th in 2017. Marcel? We're going to leave it there for now. ENCA's Malungelo Boy bringing us immediate reaction um, from the Northwest High Court.